Let's take a look at uh, linear equations, specifically find the slope between two points. And we're going to take a look at this problem. We've got 8, 2, and then 14, 5. Okay, so uh, I want to find a slope between them. Now you want to be under apps. If you're not under apps, press your apps button. And we want to choose statistics uh, two bar. So if you don't got it highlighted, then that down arrow, right arrow, or whatever, get it highlighted. And press enter. Now we're going to put our x values in C1, our column 1. So we'll put 8 and 14. So we'll do 8, enter, 14, enter. Then my right arrow. And in C2, we want to put our y values which is 2 enter, 5 enter. Now as you look across, you should see your points, 8, 2, 14, 5. And um, we want to keep in mind, in C1 we put our X values, and in C2 we put our Y values. Well, if I um, come over here to um, Symbol, click Symbol, um, you see it says C1, C2, it says Linear. And down here, you see it's already calculated um, the, our regression equation, which if you're statistics, you know what that means. But um, in algebra, um, the regression equation when you're dealing with two points is the same as your slope-intercept form. So it's telling us that our slope-intercept form is y is equal to 0.5x minus 2. Now all we're wanting is a slope. So we're wanting the number that's in front of our x. We'll come back to that. If you come here and you change something by accident, maybe you didn't say linear, so you come here and you, you do this drop down, and maybe it says exponential, I don't know. And then you do drop down and you change it back to linear. Notice how it just has m, x, and b here. Uh, m is your slope and b is your y-intercept. If you simply uh, go to your plot, and then immediately go back to your symbol, you'll see it automatically recalculated. Uh, so if you make any kind of changes like that, that's a very easy way to get it recalculated. Okay, um, we want to change it to a fraction. I know 0.5 is real simple. Um, you can probably just look at it and, and see, what to, see what to change it to. Uh, but let's see how to do it on the calculator. Notice, symbolic view, we have S1 right here. So I keep that in mind, S1. Where we want to press the home, Choose VARs, and we want to choose Statistics 2 bar, so there's a 1 next to it, so press 1 for Statistics 2 bar. We want to choose Symbolic, and there's a 2 next to it, so we press 2 for Symbolic. And then you see S1 through S5, well S1 is what we just worked with. So I press 1, and comes up with S1, and then if I press Enter, it gives us this. Now if I press my frax, Fraction button, you see it changes it to what the fraction is. So that would be y is equal to 1 half x minus 2. And again, for finding the slope, all we want is the numbers in front of our x, which is 1 half. Now again, you know, it's pretty simple by hand. You know, you subtract your y parts. So 5 minus 2 over, subtract your x parts, 14 minus 8. So that gives us 3 over 6, which then reduces to 1 half. But that's how you can find a slope on HP Prime uh, Graphing Calculator. Let me show uh, something a little bit harder than one half. Uh, let me come back to my um, oh, number and change this to something weird. I don't know, 18. Press Enter. And now I want to go back to my symbol. And um, you see it still has my old value uh, here, point, point 0.5 um, times x minus 2. If I press my plot and then go back to symbol, you'll see it updated. Uh, so if you um, if you interchange numbers, that's how you can recalculate it. Very simple way. There's probably other ways to do it. I'm definitely not an expert on HP Prime. Uh, what I teach in the classroom is a T83, T84 calculator. But I want to provide these uh, videos so somebody coming in will have the same functionality if they have a different calculator. Okay, now that's a little bit harder, though I meant for it to be a little bit harder than that, but <laughs> 0.75, we can see what that is fraction-wise, but it is an S1 right now. So I go home, press the home here. If I do my VARs, choose 1 for statistics 2 VAR, choose 2 for symbolic, 
And if I choose that one for S1 and press enter, see we can see that. And then we press our fraction button. And we see it's uh, y is equal to negative 3 fourths x plus 31 halves. If I press my fraction again, you can see it changes it to mixed number form. So instead of 31 halves, we have 15 and a half. Anyway, that's how you find a slope on a uh, HP uh, Prime graphing calculator.